Guys, I have wanted this pack literally for months now. This is going to be an EDC pack for me, just a grab and go bag. And uh, especially this is going to be good for my hiking. I'm going to use this when I go hiking. But it's not just a hiking pack. There's a couple things on here why I want it for hiking specifically. And I'll talk about that and compare it to the bag I use now when I hike and tell you why I really, really dislike the bag that I use now. So let's just go ahead and get into it right now. This was a Christmas gift to me. And so, of course, I already know what it is. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get her open. Here we go, guys. The Maxpedition Lithvor. It's part of the AGR series, the Advanced Gear Research series. And guys, this is a bag that I have been looking at this. Um, there's very few videos on YouTube about this bag, but I've looked up everything I could find on it. And from what I've seen so far, um, I really, uh, really like this. Um, Unfortunately, I'm really sick right now. I got something that's going around, and um, I've been in bed pretty much all day. But I wanted to get this out. I really wanted to see it. <laughs> I was just in the living room watching Jumanji 2. <laughs> really, really silly movie. Couldn't find too much to watch, so I'm watching that. And uh, I paused it and thought, you know what? I got to go open this Maxpedition bag. Sick as a dog or not, I got to see this bag. I just was so excited. And then what I'm going to do is and I'm going to fill it with some items. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with some items uh, in there. I've also ordered some items for this bag as well. But it just, to me, looks like it's going to be the perfect size for what I need. Now, let me show you what I had been using prior to this. And I definitely do not like it. This is the Camelback. Uh, I think it's the Rogue model. It wore really good when I carried it. And everything was great as far as carrying it. But um, the water bladder, I did not like at all. When you're using a water bladder and the straw, the water tastes plasticky all the time. And you just can't get a good drink like you normally could. So what I started doing was I was still carrying this, but I was putting one bottle in here and I was putting a spare bottle out here. And I could reach back and grab this bottle and put it away like that. It was a pain in the neck. But uh, nothing beats drinking water like you normally would through a bottle when you really want a good drink. The straw with the bite thing, I'm not down with that at all. Uh, that's just not something I'll, I ever would use. I, I tossed that a long time ago. So here's what I was using. And as you can see, what an upgrade this thing is here, guys. Now, one of the things that makes this more geared uh, toward the trail, in my opinion, and to be able for me to use it hiking uh, really well, is that on the sides here, it has two spots here, one on each side, that you can use for your water bottle. Now you can put a water bottle in here or you can unzip this and it has extra room. It's kind of gusseted there and you can put whatever water bottle or container that you need uh, down in here. Just like that. And you also have a bungee. So if you have a bigger container, you can bungee it in as well so it won't move if you get moving fast or you're you know, really moving on the trail. And if you want to, you could also um, zip this right back up and have it in there and it's tight, tightly held in there. This is a little thing I'm told, this keeps the zipper from falling down on you so the zipper will not fall. Just kind of a little neat added touch. Maxpedition is really high quality, guys. And, and I knew, I kind of pretty much figured how this pack was going to be. Okay, so another thing I like really well is this, their version of Molly, of the Molly webbing right here. You can use anything that's Molly compatible on that. Here's the tag, guys, if you want to see that. Advanced Gear Research, the Lithvor Everyday Backpack. There's the size, capacity, weight, and the fabrics. So this is their version of Molly. So you can attach anything you want to that, and they've got it stitched in here. All these circles are the extra reinforced stitching will really keep this secure, this right here, these circles, it'll really keep this secure and from ever pulling off, stitching all around there. Then you have some of the Molly things here on the side. Um, here's your other, here's the other side where you can put another water bottle in if you want, any kind of container you want, you're good with. Um, this thing is just, guys, this thing is just super high quality compared to what I was using. This was $117. <coughs> um, and it's, I think it's going to be worth every single penny. It has the straps here, and like 
what I'll do is like sometimes on these straps, if I'm going in and out of the forest when I'm hiking and in and out of from sunlight to, to trees, I'll just take and I'll hang my, I don't know if this is going to fit down in there, I don't want to stretch it out, but like I'll hang my sunglasses, the tab on my sunglasses down in there and I'll let the glasses hang over this way. So when I'm going in and out of sunlight, it's just easy to grab and go. Don't want them on my head because I'm sweating. Then you have this here. This will tighten the, the pack and hold it more secure. And you can move these. These have runners kind of so you can move this up and down whatever length you need it. And that's going to be a, a big upgrade from that other pack I was using as well. Here's the padded part that goes on your back. It's mesh. It's padded so that it will uh, be able to breathe for you. And guys, I really there's a couple of details on this bag I really like. Look, look at these zipper pulls. They say Max Pedition on there. And it's a self-lubricating zipper, so these zippers will get smoother as you use them. You can, you know, put them wherever you want to the side, on top. You can put them both at one side. And let me show you guys something else before I go any further. And that is what I, another thing that I really liked about this. Look at this handle. It's almost like a, it's almost like a rope or a cable on top here. And it's just box stitched in. I mean, you could fill this bag with ammo, I believe, and carry it anywhere you needed to carry it. So you got this big handle here. You can carry this bag if you need to. So let's go ahead and open this here. And we're going to look inside. And you can see all the versatility that this thing has. These webbing, uh, these webs right here, you can put in here whatever you want. Flashlights. Um, like I said, I'm going to put some things in here, guys, and show you so we're not going to spend a lot of time like that. But you can put anything in there you want. And you have this hook here. You can hook your keys or a little light, anything you'd want. You got two mess, mesh pouches here. You got a zippered pouch here. You can store stuff in. And you can put stuff in these pouches and stuff back here and in these pouches and in this zippered part in here and just loosen here too. There will be enough room. This pushes out, guys. It will give you enough room to also put gear right there um, if you want to. Let's go ahead and close this up. Zippers uh, feel really, really nice, guys. It does have this bungee here. I'll probably put a rain poncho in mine. I'll roll up a rain poncho and I will put it there, and uh, you know, we'll that'll that'll carry that very nicely, and right there. Let's go ahead to the. Oh, it also has uh, grommets to let the water drain. So if I ever find myself in a downpour, the water will drain. This bag is Teflon coated, so what that means is is when it gets wet, the water just beads right off like off a duck's back. The water just beads right off. Now, some water will get in if you're in a torrential downpour or if you submerge the pack, but all in all, if it's just raining or a light rain, no water's gonna get in this bag. And even if it does, even if you're in a heavy downpour, enough isn't gonna get in to hurt anything. Let's go ahead and unzip the main pouch here. And there it is, guys. This is enough room to put a laptop or like an iPad in if you wanted to. Then you have this here, another zippered compartment with a mesh pouch here. I like that because you can see, you can see what you're putting in there. If you want to use that, you can see what you're putting in that pouch right there, uh, from right from the outside. Then in here you have these mesh side pouches here. You can use for whatever you'd like. And then, like I said, your main compartment and right here, I could put an extra shirt, some clothing. You can stuff a lot of things in this bag, guys. Let me tell you, um, there's definitely not going to be anything that will hinder you there. You can fit more in these bags than what than what it looks like. And I didn't want to go with something super huge, guys. I like to go minimalist, but I want to be able to carry everything I need. I could even put extra water in there if I wanted to. But the main thing is, guys, I got the two water carriers on the side, this main compartment, the molly hooks. Also, you have a very nice um, the loop Velcro, so you can put any kind of patches or anything you want there, which I definitely will be doing. And then your main compartment. And like I said, the very heavy duty, uh, nice straps here to throw over your shoulder with all fully adjustable. And you have this here too. It's made out of the same material seat belts to hook it here. Let me go ahead and put some stuff in this bag, guys, and I'll show you what it looks like when you got some gear in. All right, guys, so this is just an example. I threw some things in the bag. I have a lot of stuff I ordered that's coming that I want to put in this bag, as well as some medical supplies that I'm going to be putting in here. What I did right now was I just walked around and threw some stuff in there. Uh, like I told you, I'm really not feeling that good, and I want to get back to my Jumanji 2 movie because it's waiting for me. So let's go ahead and just to give you an example, let's see what uh, what I've got going here. And right here, guys, I just put on this. I loop this around. This is the um, military glow. It's basically like a glow stick. They use these in the submarines in the military. There's the cage number on it. 
and uh, they put these in different compartments so if they ever lose power or just just to save power you can get into a compartment and these things glow really really bright brighter than you would even imagine so that's one on the outside um, I would have uh, water or uh, Powerade in this pouch here okay on this side guys what I did was I mollied my multi-tool my Leatherman wave on here it has the molly sheath Number one reason is I did not like carrying this on me due to sweat and just bulkiness on my pants. I'd rather have it on the pack. So I'll open it and show you. There is my Leatherman Wave, the black oxide coated one. Then I went ahead and put the water bottle, an example of what I would carry out on the trail over here in this pouch here. So this hooks on really nice and secure. It goes through two of these uh, Molly pieces here. They don't call it Molly, they call it something else, but it goes through two of those. And there's a snap there, fits really well, guys. And still, you can have your water in there as well. So here's the back compartment. I really like this little compartment because it's got a ton of organizers and different things that you can do. Uh, so just to give you an example of some things in here, I put in a G43 uh, magazine, spare magazine for that. Uh, I put in a pair of uh, fingernail clippers here. Just, you know, you could use this for, I get a lot of ticks out on the trail in the summertime. This would come in really, you don't have no idea how many times I needed something like this. When I found a tick on me after I was deep in the woods, that would come in very handy. I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, I put a pen in here. It's always nice to have an extra pen with you just in case. Uh, here I have a the smaller Olight. I really love this. This is the rechargeable. This is the little S1 baton. This is a great little light, and I have the lanyard on it. And this little netting compartment right here. I just put some things, now this is more geared toward if I was going shooting, but I could leave this in there because it weighs almost nothing. So here's a couple packets of Lucas Oil. The idea behind this is, is if you're running an AR and, you're, and somebody's bolt gets dry or gets dirty, in a quick pinch, we can get that lube on that bolt and get that AR up and running again if we're out on the range. Also too, guys, weighs nothing, literally. It's like air weight. A couple Ballastol of the multi-purpose wipes. I threw those in there. Um, I threw a Sharpie in there, guys. This also, again, could be used for anything, but it's also more suited to the range as well because you could use this to mark your shots. So you can go down range, circle your shots where you've already hit, and then go shoot again, and you'll see your fresh hits. So you could use this on the range or just any time that you needed it for anything else. Uh, down here in this, I always like to carry one of these little micro uh, microfiber cloths, guys, for my phone, uh, for the camera portion of my phone where you're going to video through. Or if you're out on the range, any kind of scopes, EOTech, Aimpoint, I always like to wipe over those with one of these, um, especially after I've been shooting, or like the lens of a, of a Surefire X300, I love to use one of these as well. This is just a little light. Uh, actually, Crazy45 Cat Jerry sent me this in one of the last packages he sent me, and I still never heard from him, but this is one of these little keychain lights. It's got three different modes, and what this is for, this is just for if it's ever dim, dark, or you're in the woods and it's getting dark, I would use this to look through the pack. The great little thing about this light, guys, is um, you can take this off and you can put in one of those batteries. I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of those common batteries that garage door openers use. It's flat and it's round and uh, about, you know, about the diameter of a quarter is what it looks like. So I would just use this for looking around in the bag. It's got two different mo three different modes. It's got like an SOS, like a beacon. It's got a high and a low and then that beacon. So I would just leave that in there and have it clipped in there for if I needed to look for anything. I don't have anything in that pouch. Let's go ahead and get into the main compartment here. I didn't really do too much in this yet, guys. Um, like I said, I gotta get a med, find out how I wanna gear my medical kit and stuff that'll be in here. But just to give you an idea, um, well, I forgot a couple things back here. So this is some spare batteries and chargers. This here is the Graphene Fast. This is for charging up my phone. This will charge my cell phone probably two complete times from zero, and that's fully powered. You just need the lightning uh, cable to hook from this to the cell phone. This is always great because I always have to have my music on the trail, and if I ever come out of a trail and I don't have enough phone power, I need to have my GPS so I can get back home, or you know, if anything happens just with the phone going dead, having this on you is really great to have. It'll power your phone. It'll get you out of where you're stuck at, especially if you get... Uh, if you get lost on the trail, I can always get on the phone and use that. And then I have a couple of uh, spare batteries. I have an 18650 for my main light, and I have a, 
uh, one of these Nightcore lights for the S for the S1 baton. Where's that? Right here. That little night core will go in there and work for that. So that's what I have in that little pouch right here, guys. Just spare batteries and things for cell phone and for lights. So back to the main compartment here that I was already uh, getting into there. You can see um, just in here in this mesh pouch, I just have this. Uh, this is for the car. You put this in a cigarette adapter and you can charge your phone. That's always good to have too in case you run out of other options. And then just to show you guys, here's a shirt. And there's a, still a ton of room in here, but here's a shirt I put in there. And okay, I always sweat a lot on the trail, big time, like soaking wet. So always to have an extra shirt if I want to stop somewhere, I can change into a dry shirt. That's great. And then in this side pouch, this could be for just um, wiping your face or if you're shooting and you need to clean something off or to clean an AR bolt. I just put one of these Lucas microfiber towels and uh, I took it and I put it in this little pouch over here. There's one on each side. And that's always nice to have, guys. You can always use a towel like that for anything, or especially if you're at the range. So there it is, guys. I just want to give you a little idea of what you could just some just a general idea of what you could do with one of these bags. Uh, that's not exactly how mine's going to be set up. It will have a lot of the things in it that you've seen already, but there's also going to be a lot more detailed things added in. And I, and I already have some stuff on the way that I ordered in the mail. And when I do an unboxing, I'll put them in here and I'll show you that as well. All right, guys, well, I hope you have a great new year, and I got a lot more things coming, guys. I got a Vetter uh, Coyote belt and a Vetter holster coming to review. It's already here. <laughs> I got a mini multi-tool I need to review for you guys. I've got it here, too. I haven't unboxed it yet, and I'll be back with those videos as soon as I can, guys, trying to get better. All right, guys, until next time, this is D-O-F, and I am out.